Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to execute cell script program in a Windows operating system. We all know that in Windows operating system we can't execute cell script program directly because Windows operating system does not provide a bond like cell. So to execute cell script program in Windows first you will have to create the environment to execute the cell script program. So to create the environment in your Windows operating system, you will have to use the third party software. There are many softwares available in the market by using which you can create the environment to execute the cell script program. But in this video, we will use Git to execute the cell script program in Windows operating system. We will use Git because Git is a very lightweight. Git software is about uh, 30 to 40 MB of file size only. So we will use Git. So at first, you will have to download Git from the official website or you can download from anywhere else. So for this, first open your browser. And first I will open Google. In Google, type git download for Windows. So, this is the official website of git. Git downloads http git sm.com. So, here we I will click here and you will see this page. Actually, in download sections, uh, Git is available for Mac operating system, Windows operating system, and Linux also. So here we are the Windows user, so we will download Git for Windows. So it will start download automatically. <laughs> Keep the file. Actually, I have downloaded it, so I will cancel this download, and uh, simply I will go in my download folders, and you can see that. Here, mm, yeah, yeah. Here, this is the Git which I have downloaded before, and actually I have inst installed this software. Okay, to to install Git in your operating system, there is no special task. Uh, same, same as as you install other programs in your in your windows operating system this is the same process that you will have to follow but uh, i will show you the steps to install git in your windows operating system first double click on git and you will get after double clicking on the source file you will get first at first uh, this window and uh, please click on run After that, you will get this window and uh, I suggest you that please do not change anything because this is the default configuration of Git. Simply click on next and at third, you will get this window. Use Git, Git uh, from Git bash only and uh, please tick on that also because this is the default. And after that, simply click on next and uh, at fourth step you will get this window uh, and please select first one use my ttty the default terminal for my sys2 and simply click on next and at fifth you will get this window enable file system caching and enable git credential manager and please select both of them and simply click on install after that it will take some time and then you will get this window completing the git setup wizard and uh, before finishing if you want to launch git bash then please select first uh, option and view the release node if you want then please select both of them and then click simply click on finish if you do not want to launch right now or do not want to see the view release nodes then simply uncheck this one and simply click on finish so these are the steps which you will have to follow to install git in your operating system now after installing git 
you can see how to open the git right click anywhere in your desktop uh, git pass here you can see that here i am getting two options git gui here and git bash here uh, gui means graphical user interface but i will i will use git bash because it is like command prompt simply it will open a new command prompt you can see here uh, this is the uh, cmd for git uh, you can see that was here the red was pc main 64 desktop in desktop i have opened it so the path is in desktop and it is showing the dollar symbol um, in windows uh, command prompt it will not show dollar but the git so this will show dollar as a symbol and here uh, you can run every commands of uh, linux or unix operating system so git uh, so simply git is providing you uh, Linux or Unix environment in your Windows operating system so you can execute the shell script program easily by using git now to execute the program of shell script first you will have to write the program now after completing the installation of git and I have shown you how to use the git now it's time to execute the shell script program so first uh, to execute the cell script program you will have to write some program actually I have written two programs first one is example 1 and second one is example 2 these are two programs which I have already written and I have saved this program in my desktop and uh, one thing you should note that example 1 and example 2 both has the extension dot sh because cell script program has the extension dot sh so that's why i have given the dot sh extension and uh, in my example one program this is the simple code it will take one input uh, your name and this will print simply at last i have one read function to stop the command prompt in example two it will ask for a number and it will read and it will simply print a table of type number and same thing I have a read function to stop the command prompt because if I will not give read then it will simply after printing the table it will close the command prompt so that's why I have given read function to stop the command prompt so thank you now so now how to execute the program so to execute the program as you can see that I have saved my both the program in my desktop you can see here this is example 1 and this is example 2 so to execute this you will have to simply double click on it as yeah like this now you can see the output of my program it is asking what is your name uh, I will give Rex for you yeah simply it is giving the output hello Rex for you now the read uh, I have given at last the read function so that's why it is uh, asking for any uh, value so now I will simply press enter to exit the command prompt yeah you can see that it's gone now example to simply double click on it now it is asking for a number so simply I will give uh, 5 so you can see that uh, this is the table of uh, 5 and uh, I will press enter this will exit the command prompt so this is not the command prompt actually this is the bash command prompt so that's why after installing bash in your windows operating system the cell script program will automatically run when you double click on it it will take by default the bash bash means uh, git so thank you i hope if you like please subscribe and share 
and if there is any suggestion please write in comment box thank you